Hi, it's Ines. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, you're gonna find a potion. And this potion will show you how to thrift from a man's underwear to a doggy's under the knee sock. <laughs> what happened is that my doggy has really long hair underneath his arm. Can you see? Like this. And uh, when he pees, sometimes he gets distracted. And he end up peeing on himself. So I just don't like the fact that uh, it, the, his arm hair turns yellow and and turns dirty. So I found one of my husband's old underwear uh, that he rarely wears. So I just took it and made it into a doggy sock. Let's take a look. First thing first, in order for the below the knee socks to fit my doggy, I'm going to make some measurements on him. I'm going to measure the height of the area that I would like to cover, and then the top and the bottom diameters. It turns out the height is 14 cm, the top diameter is 16 cm, and the bottom diameter is 10 cm. Now that I have the measurements, I'm going to start the project. Alright, this is the underwear and it's almost new. The reason why I picked it is because it has the stretchy material, it's knit fabric. And second, it has the edge that I can use later. If you don't know what I mean, you'll see later in the video. Alright, let's officially start this thrifty project. First, I'm going to cut the edge off. I think one edge is enough for what I'm going to do. So I just trim closely along the seam. Alright, edge is off. Now I'm going to cut open the underwear entirely following the seam so that I can use the whole pieces of the fabric. I'm going to remove the elastic because it's no use in this project. Alright, the underwear is uh, cut open. So basically what I'm going to use is the two sides of the underwear because it has the biggest whole piece of the fabric. I'm going to cut out two trapezoids of the material according to my measurement. And the only difference is that I will add one centimeter on each side to make the seam allowance. It's going to be like this. Alright, let's start to sew them together. First, I'll fold in one centimeter in on each side. And I'm going to use those tiny little sewing clips to make them stay in place. I use the zigzag stitch to sew the seam on four sides. I also used a straight stitch to sew on four corners so they stay flatter. If you remember in the beginning I cut off the black edge, now I'm going to use it for the latches. I'm going to make three of them. So I cut three pieces of about four centimeter each. I'm also going to use Velcro to attach to the black edge so it becomes the latch. First, I'm going to use the over edge stitch to lock the edge of the black edge so it doesn't fray. Okay. 
and then I'm going to attach the Velcro to the black edge. After all the three pieces are done, I'm going to attach them to the trapezoid using straight stitch. Now here comes the last step. I'm just gonna attach the counterpart of the vacuoles to the trapezoid. So when it wraps around my doggy, it sticks together. All right, it's done. Let's take a look. Perfect. Now I'm going to repeat the whole process to make the other one of the pair. Let's help Toffee put them on. All right, I hope you like my Swifty project and uh, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my DIY videos in the future. Share with your friends and hit the bell button as well so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs>